So I just did a little experiment with my drone, and I added servos to my FPV. Now, this may sound a little strange, but the things that you can do with this are amazing. Now, I know you could always do this, but I'd either get frustrated in the past, or I'd go through and just give up on it. Well, I decided to fully commit and actually go through and try to fix the drone and get the servos to work, and I finally made it happen. Now the first part of this was just really stressful and annoying to try to get these servos to talk to the flight controller and for all of this to work. I made one big mistake right here. I went through and bought some expensive servos. Now because I thought it'd be good if I bought some nicer ones so then I can have faster speeds or they can hold more weight. Do not do this. This is probably the worst thing you could do when you're starting out with this because you're definitely going to break at least a few of them. Because one, you're either going to burn it out, you're going to break it somehow, or something's just going to go wrong. So of course, all of those happened to me, and I learned the hard way. But once I finally got it to work, it's really cool what you can do with these servos. Like for example, you can go through and use it for like a dropping mechanism on your drone, or you can really do almost anything you can think of. Now if you really want to get fancy with it, you can go through and get like a Raspberry Pi or Arduino and add it to your drone, and then it can be fully autonomous if you want. But currently, I just have it hooked up to a switch, and I can control it when I want. Now, I'm not saying that you should do this or you shouldn't. I'm just saying what I found. And yes, it's a little bit stressful in the beginning. The payoff of it and the rest of it is actually really fun to mess around with. Well, this stuff actually has some potential. I'm gonna keep messing around with it and I think it's pretty cool. I'm Zane Shaw, keep flying.